Hi, I am Melissa, and this is the book The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Now, what do you think we could possibly be reading about today? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. Pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end.
Today, we are gonna make a very hungry caterpillar. You will need five bottle caps, a black, red, and green marker or paints, and some tape or glue. So first you're gonna start off by coloring four of them green for the body of the caterpillar. And then the fifth cap, you're gonna color red for the head. And for the head, you can use either googly eyes, beads, or you can just draw little eyeballs with the Sharpie. Now, you're gonna tape all of the bottle caps down. Place the head first, and then the body. Then you can add little antennae for the caterpillar. And there you go, you have a very hungry caterpillar. Here are some tips to help engage your child's learning in their daily life. Have them count groups of objects. Have them identify fruits. For example, maybe in the grocery store. And lastly, go on a nature walk and look for evidence of caterpillars or butterflies.